Today's video is brought to you by Ewin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist of our Ewin chair and desk videos linked in the video description below. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TECHDEALS. More details at the end of the video. Isaac comes in with a question on RAM speed. And it is, he's running the latest uh, titles on the 10900K, 3080, 32 gigs of RAM. And he wants to know if there's a noticeable difference between um, upgrading from 32CL19 to 3600CL16. Isaac, that is an awesome computer. An i9 10900K 10 core 20 thread 5.3 gigahertz beast with an RTX 3080 32 gigs of RAM. Why isn't there 64? Well, not everybody's on board the 64 gig train yet. But that that's a that's a beast of a computer. He's a one percenter. <laughs> that's a beast of a computer. So he's got 32 gigs of RAM, and his question is, he has 3200 CL19 now. For anybody watching who is who has forgotten or didn't know this, higher CL ratings are worse. It's looser timings. What you want is a higher clock speed number. So 3600 is better than 3200, but CL19 is worse than CL16. Now there's a limit to how good the CLs can get because there's in fact a latency limit of the electrons physically traveling across your motherboard into the RAM kits. I mean, RAM speeds have not substantially improved in terms of latency in a number of years because the RAM is physically too far away. Do you believe it or not, it's like about a five nanosecond timing of the electrons moving between the RAM and the CPU. Right. The only way to get the latency down is to physically move the RAM closer to the CPU. We'll probably see stacked RAM on CPUs in the next five or 10 years. Stacked RAM? Yeah, it'll have to be, in, it, you know how they do the chiplets on the CPUs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna have to start putting some RAM. You'll probably end up with a main, like a, a, a larger RAM, because they already have cache on so CPUs. So you reckon the Raptor might have some RAM on it? You, they might put four or eight gigabytes of RAM on the, dot, on the not on die, but inside the uh, the package mm -hmm. on a chiplet. Mm -hmm. And then you'll have 64, 128 gigs of secondary RAM further out. And Windows will obviously have to be updated to handle this, but RAM is only getting faster in bulk transfers. The first byte transfer isn't any faster. Putting that issue aside, I just wanna explain that because not everybody, it's easy to think bigger number must be better, but CL19 is worse than CL16. How much so? Mm. It depends. It depends upon whether you're doing large transfers or lots of small transfers. Lots of small transfers care about latency. Right. A few big transfers care about transfer rate. Correct. So it depends. In any case, let me tell you a story. My personal gaming PC at home is one generation back from his. I have an i9-9900K, which is the eight core 16 thread, and he's got the i9-10900K. He does. He has a 3080. He does. I have a 3090. You do? I have 64 gigs of RAM in my machine. I upgraded from 32. Makes a difference. It's, I'm very happy I made that upgrade. Now, I am more of a heavy user than the average person, but this is my gaming PC. This is not my work PC. There's no content creation or anything else going on there. So, I specifically bought three months ago a 64 gig kit to put into that machine. He did. I didn't use RAM on the shelf. I didn't just repurpose or add RAM to existing RAM. I bought a RAM kit in, was it December or November? November, December of 2020 to, and I pulled the existing RAM out and I put a new RAM kit in. Now we're talking about a premium 200 plus dollar Z390 motherboard, an i9 10900K, a Noctua NHD15. This is a very nice, there's six terabytes of SSD storage in this machine. It's a Beast of a machine. So I bought DDR4-3200. Now before you all think I'm crazy, I have upstairs right now, multiple RAM kits at 4,000 or higher. I've got a DDR4-4266 CL19 kit. I've yep. got a DDR4-4000 CL18 kit. I've got a 4166 kit. None of them are in my personal gaming PC. Do you think they want to know the secret as to why? I own much faster RAM and it's not in my computer. Because the 3200 is much more reliable? 
Say it louder for the people to... Oh, that's not actually it, but... The other reason. Can you pass the map out? It doesn't make any flippin' difference. That memo. Unless you play the benchmark game with your computer, unless you need to measure the length of your benchmark bar graph, and that's the meaning of your life, which, okay, if it is, good for you. I don't care. It doesn't make any difference. But what about DDR5? It's coming. That will make a difference three to five years from now when DDR5 speeds are in the 8,000 range. Oh, well, and after it comes down in price. And after it isn't expensive. When you can actually start to afford it. So to answer Isaac's question. Right. Going, if I want to show a bar graph difference, I can find a benchmark that will make 3600 CL16 look better than 3200 CL19. But if you turn off the frame rate counter, if you turn off the 1% low, if you turn off the frame time graph, if you turn off the benchmarks and you just use it, mm -hmm. I'll bet you could stealth switch between those two RAM kits. You would know. He would never know you did it. Don't waste your money. High speed RAM is a way for RAM companies to make more profit off of their better bin RAM. Ooh, shiny. That's all it is. Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly, they have something for every type of gamer. Not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist down in the video description below. We also have a very special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using discount code tech deals using our link in the video description. We have used Ewin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hour marathon live streams. They are very comfortable and we are happy to work with Ewin to bring you this special discount and recommend Ewin for all of your gaming chair and desk needs.